Little painting. I'm Little Ross, and I'd like to start off by taking this opportunity to personally thank you for joining us here today. And if this is your first time, please allow me to warmly extend you an invitation to drag out your old brushes and paint right along with us. Now I've got all the names of the colors here running across here on the screen right about now, but in the meantime I'd like to explain what I've got in mind for today. I thought today maybe we'd have a little bit of fun, do something a little bit different. Maybe we'll do a nice little mountain landscape with a couple couple little trees and bushes right up in the air somewhere. Now let's go on and get started with the, with the sky in the background. So first what we're going to do is we'll take a little bit of the crimson red and mix that in with just a little bit of the bright yellow. Now don't worry too much about getting the mixture here just right. That's the wonderful thing about this whole, about this whole process is that no one's telling you what to do. In your own little world you get to make all the decisions. And you know what? I know you can. See, I get letters in the mail every day saying, I didn't ever think I could paint. And they, they send me pictures and they, they really can't paint, but they, they think they can. They believe that they can. That's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and add in a mountain right about, yep, right there. Just some little something about like so. And oh, yep, you're right, here comes a friend. And don't worry too much about how a purple and orange mixed in became green. As an artist, you just learn to go with things. Take whatever the heck you're handed, and you just turn it into something beautiful. Now let's add in some trees right back in here. Now be careful, we don't want to be too detailed in this, or, or it'll throw off your illusion of depth. And we want our paintings to be nice and deep, almost like you could jump into them and never find your way out again. Wouldn't that be something? Let's go ahead and wash off the old brush. And it's important to use paint thinner here, not just water, because I don't actually remember why. But that's very important to remember. Now we'll just beat the devil out of the... <laughs> yeah. Happy little accents. Happy little accents. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some nice vivid colors in here for the trees in the foreground. And shoot, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get a little crazy. Watch this. Here's your bravery test. Are you ready? Oops. Let's get that fixed. Yeah. 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 And painting trees really is that simple. It's just a few strokes of paint. We've just about painted us a forest. But don't get too carried away or your painting might just end up looking like a great big mess. <laughs> but shoot, I'm not the one telling you what to do here. Now what you're going to do is just add some nice little friendly bushes right up here in the front. Now look at that. We could practically give them a hug. Although we don't want to stay at our shirt, so we won't do that. You know what? We can just about call this done. Let's grab a little bit of paint here for our signature, and we'll just sign it and call this little rascal finished. Now don't just copy my signature here. Do your own, because otherwise that's plagiarism. But shoot, folks wouldn't even know it, because they'd think it was mine anyway. Now I'd love to see photographs of what you've created today. Until next time, and from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy little painting. And they got us.